Hey, how's it going people? Michael here and thank you for tuning in to Use Gadgets. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up an iPhone 5 for the Win Mobile Network. So when you're buying an iPhone 5 for use on the Win Mobile Network, you want to make sure that you have a compatible iPhone 5 because the first iPhone 5s that came out are not compatible. But the iPhone 5 that was manufactured after April 11th, 2013 are compatible. So are the iPhone 5S and 5C manufactured after September 20th, 2013. And you can check out the description in this video to check out the model numbers that are compatible. Next, I want to talk about the SIM card. You need to be aware that the uh, SIM card that is used on the iPhone 5 is what's called a Nano SIM which is a smaller version of a regular SIM card. For example, if you are using um, a device like the uh, HTC MAs, this one uses a regular SIM card. Let me just show you what that looks like. There we go. So this is what a regular SIM card looks like. By the way, the, uh, this SIM card is also used by the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now compared to uh, something like a BlackBerry Z10, um, I'm not going to open it because I'm using this to record the audio in this video, um, but let me just pull out the back and then the SIM card will be found in here and I've already taken it out. But it looks like this. It's like half the size. When I bought my BlackBerry Z10, I cut the existing SIM card using a pair of scissors and it was very easy to do and it only took me five minutes. You don't have to call Win to activate anything as long as you did it properly and it should work right away. But I wouldn't recommend you using a pair of scissors to reduce it down to a nano SIM card. And let me just show you what a nano SIM card looks like on the iPhone. You're going to need a SIM card slot tool, or you can also use a paper clip. Just push the pin into that hole. Out comes the SIM slot, and there is the Nano SIM. So now let's take a look at the size comparison. Here we go. As you can see, the nano SIM card cuts are really close to the uh, the copper uh, the copper layer. That's why I don't recommend you using a pair of scissors. If you plan on keeping your existing SIM card, I recommend having the card cut by someone with a SIM card cutter, which usually costs around five dollars. Or you can go to a Win store and purchase a new nano SIM card. All right, so when you're buying a used iPhone 5 from a private seller, it's a good idea to bring your nano SIM card along with a SIM slot opener. Um, what you're going to need to do is insert that SIM card into the iPhone to test if it will connect to the Win Mobile network. And it doesn't matter whether or not the iPhone has been erased, you can still test it for signal. So let's go ahead and insert that. Oh, by the way, let me turn it on first. This is the screen that you're going to be greeted with on a completely erased iPhone. Let's take out the SIM slot. go. Now let's see if we get a signal. Still says no service. Give it a second. Now it says 3G. So it appears to be working. Good. Now the next step is to set up the iPhone, uh, but you're going to need an Apple ID. And if you don't have one yet, it's easy to set one up. Just go to appleid.apple.com or just Google it and type Apple ID. So now let's set this phone up. 
choose your language, select your country, and then choose uh, Wi-Fi network. Now you're probably going to be uh, meeting up at a Tim Hortons, so go ahead and choose one of the Wi-Fi networks. Um, I don't think you'll be able to set it up without connecting to one, so let me go ahead and pick one of these. Let me just hide it. And we are connected. Now in this screen, you can choose to enable or disable location services. I'm going to choose enable. And then you have three options. You can set up uh, a new iPhone. You can restore from an iCloud backup. Or you can restore from your iTunes backup. I'm going to set it up as a new iPhone. Now it's going to ask you to sign in with your Apple ID. Type in your Apple ID and your password. All right, and then you have the terms and conditions. You can read through it. And if you agree, hit agree. I agree, yes. Okay, so in this screen, it's asking me whether or not to use iCloud. Yeah, go ahead and use it. And here's an option to find my iPhone. Now it's updating the iCloud settings. Now it's asking for a passcode. Let me enter a passcode. All right, so to set up the iCloud keychain on this iPhone, approve it from one of your other devices using iCloud keychain or use your iCloud security code. I'm just going to go ahead and use the iCloud security code. Okay, enter the verification code sent to blah 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 blah. Don't have access to this phone obviously because I am using it. Oh, wait a minute. So it, I guess it automatically detected it. Uh, yes, I will use Siri. Diagnostics, yes, uh, automatically send. App analytics, share with app developers or don't share. I'm gonna say don't share. And you are done. So you can get started. And here is your screen. Welcome to an iPhone. And there is the verification from the uh, iCloud keychain. Just hit okay. Let's take a look at that message. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you can see that code, it won't work. All right, so the next step is to set up the uh, APN so that it'll work with WinMobile's data. We go to settings, we go to cellular, and then uh, cellular data network. Tap on APN and then type in internet.winmobile.ca. There we go. And then leave all the other fields blank. Let's scroll down and then in the MMS section, tap on APN and then type in mms.winmobile.ca. Under MMSC, you need to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mms.winmobile.ca. And then for proxy, we need to put 74.115.197.70 colon 
and then all the other fields should be blank. And now to set up FaceTime from the home screen, tap on settings and then scroll down to FaceTime. I've already got it set up here, but ensure that you can be reached by FaceTime at whatever Apple ID is selected. For iMessage, open the settings app again, tap on messages and then tap on send and receive. And then confirm that the following is selected. You can be reached by iMessage at Apple ID. As you can see here, it is already set up. And it says right now from the uh, WinMobile website that at this time, the use of FaceTime and iMessage on compatible Win Network iPhones will not function with the use of an Apple ID. So currently when mobile is not an authorized dealer of Apple Canada. And because of that uh, proprietary software has not been made available to win. Now to set up the uh, personal hotspot, let's go back to settings and then tap on cellular, tap on data network, And then under personal hotspot, enter the following information. Under APN, internet.winmobile.ca. And then leave all the other fields blank no username, no password. Now if we go back, you should see hotspot here. Okay, so the personal hotspot did not appear under settings the first time you do it, but I will show you how to make it appear. You'll first need to go into cellular and then uh, personal hotspot down here. Turn this on personal hotspot and then when you go back it will appear under this list. Alright guys I think I'll end it at that. If you have any questions or uh, if you have any issues with this video please uh, add it to the comments section and if you like this video please hit that like button or better yet hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.